In this next scene, we're going to actually lift the participant up and down the rock climbing wall. We have Patrick pulling and I will be belaying. As you might notice, Joyce is no longer in the seat. Some things to keep in mind if you decide to do this on your own is that pulling someone like that takes a lot of strength. Um, so you'll want to plan accordingly. Unfortunately today we were a little short on um, volunteers with a lot of muscle power and so we, Joyce is no longer in the seat um, and, but Patrick's still going to be pulling to demonstrate how to do this. If you do this you might want to bring some more people. So now that we're getting set up the next thing we want to do is communicate some more to be safe. Everybody wants to make sure I'm ready because my rope is tied into the participant's harness and is the main point of safety. We want to make sure the participant is ready and comfortable and knows what's going on. We want to, so we want to ask them if they're ready. And then it's also very important that Patrick and I communicate with each other so he doesn't start pulling before I ta start taking up slack or I'm not pulling and he's not pulling. We all want to work together as a team. So we'll do the same commands that we did before when Amanda was going to the top to take up the rope. And I'll say my belay is on and I'll ask the participant if they're ready. They'll say yes, I'm ready to go up. I'll look at Patrick. Patrick, are you ready to pull? He'll say yes. And so Patrick and I will be in communication with one another and we'll say, all right, on the count of three, we'll start pulling. And at that point, Patrick will pull and I'll take up the slack with the gree gree. All right, ready? One, two, three. And we want to do this in unison. So, and usually at this point, um, right now you can sort of see how the sling seat is now sitting similar to hammock. It's more like a seat for the participant. And also, if you've noticed, the sling is sort of swinging around. Um, we want to have the participant facing the wall. It's hard to control which way the ropes are going to go. So if I can have Amanda come back up here again. Amanda is going to be the climbing buddy for the participant that's climbing. And she's going to just sort of help guide which way the seat goes. And, you know, if the participant's able, she's going to let the participant sort of kick their feet off the wall just to have the sensation of touching the rock wall.